Welcome back to our special story of the day. Now, there was a book released recently called Entrepreneurship Simplified from Idea to IPO by Ashok Suta and S.R. Gopalan. Ashok Suta is a member of serial entrepreneur himself and he joins us on the show today to really share some tips and tricks that entrepreneurs, that startup founders can use. Mr. Suta, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. I want to start with your book. I was, you know, going through the chapters. It covers, um, uh, you know, various aspects, ideas, validation, funding, culture. I want to focus on the that entrepreneurs themselves encounter that they're trying to solve, while some others also sit and discuss these ideas. What is the best way, really, to go about the idea stage? You know, either way, I think your second part of the statement is key. Whatever you choose to do, I think must solve a given customer pain point or fulfill a new need, which is an unfulfilled need, which even the customer doesn't know as yet. So that's a new market you're helping to create. And it doesn't matter whether you thought of the idea first or you chose to become an entrepreneur and came in on the idea. But one of the things that my co-author Gopalan and I, and we meet something like, both of us I would imagine meet at least 20 plus potential entrepreneurs with their business plans, is that the ideas are never thought through in adequate depth. Perhaps they zero in on one opportunity far too early, rather than examining two or three potential areas, then seeing which are the best opportunity. And I think that is really, and then they don't do enough work to validate the idea. So the vi validation in an expensive way is also very important. Mr. Suda, it's often said uh, that um, you know uh, uh, anything is 5% um, uh, inspiration and 95% perspiration. As someone who's built a series of businesses yourself, um, how can people really go about the whole execution exercise? And you know, what's the best way one can be a very good ideator as well as an executor? So you know, I'll just take your own statement up. I wouldn't agree that. Success is 5% the idea or inspiration and 95% perspiration. In fact, we say very early in the book that your uh, venture is really going to be as good as your idea. So that's a good starting point. If you have the wrong idea, you're going to be struggling with it all the time. Now, when it comes to execution, obviously it's very important to build the right team. And you begin with the founding team. Too many people, because they bootstrap, are struggling with very inadequate teams. So that's, I think, a very important thing. Another important thing about execution is timing. You know, there's the time in which you uh, choose to scale, the time at which you choose to do your acquisitions if you choose to do them, and also the time at which you go to to get the peaks where the valuation levels will be higher. Mr. Suta, when you talk about startups, obviously funding gets a lot of attention. Now, one school of thought says, you know, bootstrapping your way will be the best approach, while others say funding is necessary so you can scale up fast. Um, what do you suggest? When is the right time really to hit the road as far as fundraising is concerned? Well, you know, we clearly recommend that we prefer people to raise funds externally, not rely on friends and, friends and family. And that is because we've seen too many people blow up their entire life savings in trying to get a project out. It doesn't mean that you can't be successful through bootstrapping, and certainly it will take you much more time. So if you have money, because money is the fuel for growth, and you have to manage it well. The other aspect about raising money is that when you go to a, whether it's an angel or to a VC, and we really say if you can, go straight to the VC, uh, then that VC will help you to modify your idea, adapt your idea, They'll introduce you to their own ecosystem, their own partners. They may also help you in getting talent. So you get a lot of value out of the external investor. Finally, Mr. Suta, for entrepreneurs, for budding entrepreneurs who want to know more about this book, uh, you know, share three tips or tricks with respect to uh, funding, with respect to execution, other things that they can really use. So the first one is really going to pertain to raising of your share capital and equity. And here, one of the most important things we could say is to people that once you've given away equity, you can't get it back. So be very careful how you negotiate those terms. The second one is that, uh, you know, failure is really not necessarily the end of the road. There will be lots of mistakes. 
I would say the failure is an opportunity to move on and seek success uh, in whichever way, either through re-strategizing, uh, by pivoting your strategy. And the third thing is that you think of strategy not as a one-time exercise. I think there's a startup strategy, there's a scale-up strategy, there's a risk minimization strategy. I'd like to conclude this by saying, you know, people think of entrepreneurs as risk takers. I think it creates the wrong attitude. The job of the entrepreneur is to actually reduce the risk in the venture which he or she is choosing. Thanks so much for that, uh, Mr. Suta. I certainly hope a lot of founders, entrepreneurs read your book and get inspired. But uh, with that, we come to the end of this edition of ED Now Startup Central. Thanks so much for watching. Founders, entrepreneurs, read your book and get inspired. But uh, with that, we come to the end of this edition of ED Now Startup Central. Thanks so much for watching.